Sorry, I, I lost an important piece of my instrument. <laughs> it's not that important. Ah, here it is. It's a famous bungee cord. Um, okay, this one, this one we're going to do a little differently. Um, because we're going to lower the, the microphone just a second here. And use a chair. This piece <laughs> high tech. Okay. Um, this instrument that you can't see now that I've sat down uh, is called a dulcimer, and it uh, is a, a mountain instrument. It's a, an American instrument. Very simple. It only has three or four strings, and it is what we call a, a modal tuning. Now, I use the bungee cord as a way of keeping it attached to my leg. Uh, actually, I invented this method of dulcimer playing. Uh, I found when you're playing in bars and places, uh, you often need to be able to move quickly. And, uh, so this, this way you could... Uh, you didn't have to worry about it, it was already with you. But it also allows you to uh, tap your leg and, and have the instrument stay. Now, the dulcimer, and I don't know if you can hear this, has a very different sound. It's, it's actually what we call a modal sound, which means it has a lot of drones. It almost sounds like an Indian sitar. Let me play a little of it. Originally, um, it would be played, it would be plucked with a feather. It would actually use a feather to strum, and uh, either a, a stick or a twig, or actually your finger. But you can also... Um, gives it a different sound. Um, this particular piece that we're listening to is the, the third kind of song. We listen to Cape Cod Girls, which is a, a work song, and Sweet Betsy from Pike, which is a, a history and a humorous song. Um, incidentally, you notice the, the attitude toward women in that piece. Um, it was somewhat disparaging, you know, it, it was comical, she gets drunk and makes a show. But at the same time, what quality was kind of overwhelming in, in everything about her. What did you notice about her? Like the Indians and stuff. Okay, she has great courage and she, you know, while her husband's kind of going, oh, what are we going to do? She's doing it. Uh, and that is a reflection of that, that really a change in attitude that the pioneer woman changed how America looked at women because they <coughs> were able to uh, accomplish things that had not been done before, and if it were not for them, then men would not have accomplished what they accomplished. 